सहनावत सहन भुनक्त सह वीर करवा तेजस्वीनावती तमस्तमा विदिशा वे ओ शांति 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 नमस्ते the dialogue between arjuna and lord krishna is bhagavad gita see all of us are like arjuna without a krishna the dialogue between the nara the arjuna narayana the lord krishna now we are like arjuna without the krishna now that is why the relevance of the bhagavad gita is absolutely essential now arjuna realized that he was a samsari you know what i mean by sam- samsari that means attachment delusion and also the the sorrow so all of us are the same thing okay now this is why this is absolutely essential for all of us to listen to the teaching of bhagavad gita okay now bhagavad gita happened you know in mahabharata war now one may ask a question so what is the relevance now there is no war now i have been keep on telling the life itself is a battle of war now whatever arjuna was facing we are also facing now the whole idea to find out okay now a i am able to learn b i am able to adopt and c i want to practice and be benefited now that is the purpose of this particular class with the shlokas now what happens arjuna had a problem there is a samsara roga now he could not find out then he completely collapsed then he realized he had a problem then he tried to find out whether he can solve the problem on his own so he could not do it then he approached lord krishna for a help then he also requested lord krishna take me as a shishya as a student i am completely confused i don't know what to do and what not to do okay so you please take me as a disciple and teach me so that is why we started that is the spirit of bhagavad gita and his teaching okay now let us go to the shloka shri bhagavan uvacha अशोचानशोचत्वादाशसे गूर्न गुशोचंति पंडिता श्रीभगवाच अशोचानशोचत्व प्रज्ञावादांश्च भाषसे गूर्न गुशोचंति पंडिता यू हेव लिजन टू दिस श्लोका ओके लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज अड्रेसिंग टू अर्जुना सी अर्ली है यू वॉज ओनली है 
driver. Okay, now Arjuna was the master. Now today what happens? They completely change. That Krishna has become the master, is the guru, and Arjuna is the student, says Sishya. Now let us go from the word to word meaning. Ashochan Anushostrastum Pragna Vadansha Basha se Gatasun Agadan Suja Nan Sochandi Pandidaha. So this is the sloga. So let's go by the word to word. Ashochan. Those who should not be grieved for. Think. Eh? Those who should not be grieved for. Hmm? Anvashochaha. You are grieving. You are not supposed to grieve. You should not lament. But you are doing it. Tvam, you. Pragyavam. That is words of wisdom. So you are giving Lord of you know, the words of wisdom. Earlier he was completely confused. He was not knowing what you want to do. See now you are talking of the words of wisdom. Okay. Basha say. That means you are speaking. Gatasun is talking about the Gatasun. Gatasun means dead. Agatasun is a living. And na anushochanti. When you say anushochanti, that means grieve. Na means not. That means na anushochanti. Grieve not. Don't grieve. Okay. Panditaha, the wise people do not lament, they do not grieve. So this is the word to word meaning. See now let us understand. See now Arjuna as a student is ignorant. Lord Krishna okay, he is highly knowledgeable. So he is a guru. Now he has to explain to Arjuna. Now what is the problem of Arjuna? He wanted to fight the moment he saw the Bhishma and Drona. He completely collapsed. Why? Because of the attachments. He has completely forgotten that he should fight for the Adharma. So that is why he was taking the wrong meaning. So that is why Krishna says in a beautiful way, now the wise people do not grieve for the people who are dead and also living. That means he says that wise people don't grieve, don't feel sad. That means Krishna says directly that Arjuna is not wise. Okay. Now the whole idea is as a guru, you must make him to understand what is the right thing to do. See, all of us have the same problem. Then there is a challenge. We don't know what is dharma and what is the adharma. So you need a guru like Lord Krishna. And now you can take the teaching of Bhagavad Gita. Okay, now what is happening now? Now he says, don't grieve. That is the central message of Bhagavad Gita. The one is you know, the Dharma Shastra. The other one is the, the Moksha Shastra. That means one is Dharma. You say Mama Dharma. The other thing is a liberating day teaching. Now when you say suchaha means you know, grave. Ma suchaha, eh? don't grieve. Now all of us will be very happy to hear that. But we are able to understand, provided 
if you are able to follow the meaning of the Bhagavad Gita. Okay. So you now let me explain to you in a different way. Let us take a child, maybe three to four year old child. It has got a balloon. So she was able to enjoy. And then suddenly it bursts. Then the child starts crying. The caring mother was watching. Now what happens? The child is crying. Now the mother knows it is not worth crying. But she also makes sure that she is also very sad. Okay. Now if you take this particular same example, so the ignorant person is like a child. Now the balloon is like a body. Even our body is full of air, the prana. Right? The moment you now the balloon is burst. That means the ignorant person like a child. Okay, start crying. But the mother is quite wise. Although she sympathizes with the child, but she shows you know, it is just Take it as a sport. That means the whole idea is that the mother knows. Okay, if there is a balloon, if there is a air, and then it will burst. Okay, now the whole idea for you to understand is to say that our body is like a balloon. <laughs> it is also full of prana. There is a air. Now one day it is going to die. The ignorant people, they keep on grieving. But whereas wise people, they understand. But they don't grieve. That means they will never grieve. Okay, so let us go by the word to word meaning. Shri Bhagavan Vacha, that is Lord Krishna, he says, Tvam you anmachocha that means you are grieving you are lamenting you are feeling very sad ashochan for what? for those who should not be grieved for it doesn't mean that it doesn't have any kind of a reverence but we have to understand the reality so one day also you know the Bhishma and the Drona is going to die but the body will die but not the soul that's the message what Lord Krishna is telling to Arjuna okay Prajnavan Bhasi say you are speaking like the words of wisdom or a words of wise you are talking like a the wise man but you are confused okay now Panditaha the wise person who has got a tremendous amount of wisdom, right? We call him as a Pandita. He is able to understand, he is able to communicate, okay, and he is able to assimilate. This is what he called a Pandita, the wise person. Na Anushoshanti, the Pandita, do not grieve, do not lament, do not feel sad, okay? Gata soon for the dead. Okay. And also Agatasun for the living. Now, what is the message you are getting on this particular one? Very simple. Now Krishna tells to Arjuna, Master Chaka, don't grieve. Why? The wise people do not grieve. For whom? For dead and living. Okay, now he knows what is the philosophy of life. Now what you have to understand is, yes, now as you are born, you have to die. So you should not grieve. So the essence of the, the sloka is, you are grieving for those who should not be grieved at all. 
Why you got this problem? Because of attachment with your guru and grandfather. Okay. At the same time, you are speaking the words of wise, the words of wisdom. The wise do not grieve for the dead and also the living. Now, it is very difficult for us to understand at this particular stage. See, this is why the turning point. See, this particular sloka is the starting point of the Bhagavad Gita, who is going to take you to the liberation. Okay, this particular sloka. Why? Because our problem is only about that you are going to be live forever. Now you have to accept the reality. That's why the wise people do not grieve for the dead and also the living. Then it must be very, very, very difficult to understand. Then what happens? Once you are born, you have to die. So you must take it as a sport. You must love it. You must enjoy it. That's what it is. That is what Krishna tells, not I am not telling. Okay, so I, I also believe. Okay, once you are born, you have to die. So why don't you make it as a happy journey? Okay, I hope it is very difficult to understand, but you will be able to understand over a period of time. It is worth doing it also. Okay, take care, all the best. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santi Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makaschit Dukkha Bhagbhavet Om Shanti Shanti Shanti